Hello, my dear friends. I'm here, yes, ready. Waiting for all of you in order to start a new class. I hope that you can hear me very well. Just let me know, please. Good evening to all of you. Hello, can you hear me? Hello, hello, are you there? Hello teacher, good evening. Thank you, Linda, to answer. I was really worried because I was saying hello, hello, and I was thinking that my microphone is not working. Hello, teacher. Hello, sir. Good, good evening. Good evening. I, I was worried because I, I was uh, saying hello, hello, and anybody answered. Mm -hmm. No worries. Yeah, but right now I'm, okay, I'm here. I, I, I feel better. Okay, sure. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> Christina, how are you, Christina? Hello, teacher. I am fine. Really? Yeah. Okay. How was your day? A lot of work to do today? Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. You are so close to get the vacation, maybe. Or maybe some of you are not going to have the vacation this year, but you are going to have it the next one, okay? Mr. Cardona, how do you feel today? Very good, teacher. Okay, excellent, sir. Yes. Welcome, Norma, Harrison, Giovanni, Karina. Hello, teacher. Hello, sir. Sir, are you ready? Sir, no, I'm young, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a saying, you know. Of course, that you are very young. 
when, when, when we need to address to someone in a respectful way, we, we use the, the term. Hello, sir. Yeah. Don't worry about it. No lo, no lo traduzcas así literalmente, como quien dice, señor. Ah, ok. Oh, es un personaje de respeto. Cuando uno se dirige a alguien así, es con respeto. O cuando le dan una orden y usted dice, yes, sir. Like in the army, you know. Así que no se me preocupe. Ok. <laughs> Don't worry about it, ok. No worry. Okie dokie, Norma Carolina, welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you today? I'm fine, teacher. How are you? Okay, ready. Excellent. Yes. You are so close to finish this module. Only us. Yes. Seven days and a half. And we are starting a new month the last month of this year, December, is here. Okay, we have Fatima for you. Is there two? Karen Yusenia, welcome. Good evening. And? Before to start, I'm going to see who is the one that is going to stay at the end of the class? Of course, I know that sometimes you don't have any question, but we can make a review about a specific topic. But in some cases, I, I've been alone, yes. Saying the person assigned for today is not here for the reason I'm going to read for this topic. And you know, you are not there. Ah, Suleyma Veronica Melgar is today. I hope that she connects. Today, I hope that you connect today. Okay, let me see, 12. In seven minutes, we have 12. We are still waiting for the rest, but well, I'm going to 
to look for some info. Okay, here we go. We are going to start checking the attendance list. Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Say hello if you are there. He's there, he's there. Uh, Ana del Carmen. Present teacher. Okay. Angel Narciso. Present. Uh, Cristina Stephanie Martinez. Present teacher. Fatima del Carmen. Present. Giovanni Alexander. Present teacher. Herson Manuel. Present. Eh, Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos Palacios. So here. Karen Yesenia Castillo. Present. Karina. Present. Linda Ivette. Present, teacher. María Julia. Present. Marley Nicole. Present. Marlene, verdad, ya me dijo que es Marlene, no Marlene. Ok. O oh, Marlene. Nancy. Nancy. Not here. Uh, Norma Carolina. Present, teacher. Ok. Rafael Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay. Raquel Judith. Raquel Judith. It's not here. Suleima Veronica Melgar Diaz. Suleima, it's not here. Okay. Only, yes, one, two, three, four. The four. Yes, four. That are amazing. Ah, Juan Carlos is there too. Good night, teacher. Carlos is there, okay. Say hello, sir. Say hello. Hello, teacher. <laughs> okay. Nancy? Nancy, Ibet? I don't see you, Nancy. Are you there, Nancy? No? It's not there. Okie dokie. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, today is class number 13. And we are going to talk about something really important. Today we have uh, two questions here, and so please read it and give me your answer. 
how often are trainings scheduled in your company? Do you attend or take trainings? Explain. Okay, think and tell me. How often are trainings scheduled in your company? Do you attend or take trainings? Explain. How often we are using adverb of frequency? How often are trainings scheduled in your company? And the second one, do you attend or take trainings? Explain. Okay. Tell me. But let us talk about training. Uh, in my company, our, our training schedule usually quarterly. Okay. Okay. Thank you. In my case, when is new employee or one once a week, once a year? Once a year at the beginning? Yeah. Or uh, yeah. at, the, at the end of this year? Yeah. At the beginning. At the beginning of this year? Yeah. That means that mean in January? Yeah. Okay. As soon as uh, one of your classmates and speaking, you can start your participation because I don't want to be telling you next, somebody else. No, you need to motivate yourself. If you want to improve, you are going to do it. Go ahead, you can do it. Just share your ideas about the question. No teacher. Harrison, do it, Harrison. Yes, in my case, the trainings every month because we, uh, the coordinators, have to train the staff. Ah, okay. That means that you keep every month, you keep in training in order to, to take a look at the other rest of employees. Yes, teacher. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to tell you this in Spanish. Tenía un docente que nos decía, de ustedes depende. Hasta que un día le pregunté y le digo, Eh, a qué se refiere cuando dice de usted depende y me dice de usted depende que la clase esté movida o que esté así quieta así es que all depend on you ok if you participate you are going to motivate your classmate in order that they can do it too I invite you to do it, to share your ideas. Don't worry about mistakes. Just do it. Go ahead. You are able to do it. In my company, training are scheduled every three months. Okay. 
Thank you, Juan Carlos. Me, teacher. Tell me, sir. In my company, there are always training for different areas all year. Okay. And what about the second question? Do you remember the second question? If we attend to the, to the training. Yes. Okay. Um, in my company, uh, there are training every month, but I, I assist only once a year. Once a year. Yes. Okay. It is based on your experience. Yeah. Okay. Who else? I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Do you attend or take training? Just share it with me the rest of the class, please. Hello. Somebody else wants to do it, please. No? Okay, let us continue then. You don't want to talk. We are going to continue with something new. Okay, listen to your teacher, read the conversation, they practice with a partner. Mr. Perez and Jackie. Good morning, this is Mr. Perez. Hello, Mr. Perez, this is Jackie. I have just come in. Welcome to our company, Jackie, your company. You are part of our family now. Thanks a lot, sir. You're welcome. Do you know the procedure to request training? I am afraid I don't care. Oh, let me explain this to you. First, you need to do this, and you know, he started explaining all the process, you know. Easy, easy. I'm going to give you two minutes, not that you can read it, and identify difficult words. And then I'm going to read again in order that you can get familiar with the sounds. Try to read it now, and then we are going to read again, and you are going to practice. 
But I need that all of you practice, please. Read it, read it, please. Okay, I'm going to read again. Good morning, this is Mr. Perez. Hello, Mr. Perez, this is Jackie. I just come in, welcome to our company, Jackie. Your company, you are part of our, our family now. Thanks a lot, sir. Welcome, do you know the procedure to request training? I am afraid I don't, sir. Oh, let me explain this to you. First, Okay, somebody wants to read it? Me too, sure. Okay, do it. Somebody else wants to help him? Please. Go ahead. Good morning. This is Mr. Hernandez. Hello, Mr. Hernandez. This is Christy. I have just come in. When called to our company, Christian, your company, you are part of our family now. Thanks, Alorsi. You're welcome. Do you know the procedure to request training? I am far, I don't serve. Okay, let me explain this to you first. Okay. All right, thank you. I am afraid I don't, I don't hear. Okay, somebody else, please. Me, teacher. Okay. And me. Go ahead. Good morning. This is Mr. Perez. Hello, Mr. Perez. This is Yaki. I have just come in. Welcome to our company, Jackie. Your company, you are part of our family now. Now, uh, Thanks a lot, sir. You're welcome. Do you know the procedures to request training? I am afraid. I don't, sir. Okay, let me explain this to you first. Okay, thanks. I remember that this word we pronounce it is it is called Iran Delta sound. We put the tip of our tongue between uh, upper and lower teeth to pronounce the word thanks. It's like C. Como una feta de zorro. Thanks. Thanks a lot, sir. Okay. What else? It's ten. Okay, hey, Juan Carlos. Me, teacher. And Anabel Carmen. Okay, do it. Good morning. This is Mr. Palacios. Hello, Mr. Palacios. 
This is Annie. I have just come. Welcome to our company, Annie. Your company, you are part of our family now. Thanks, Aloxior. You're welcome. Do you know the procedure to request training? I am I am afraid I don't search. Okay, let me explain this to you first. Okay, thank you. And now we are going to practice with somebody else in the breakout room to later on do it and show in the class. Here we go. Let's do it now, please. And I normal please go to your room. Oops, time was really short. I'm sorry. Are you ready to do it? Linda, come on. Okay. Uh, good morning, this is Miss Miss Gomez. Hello, Miss Gomez. This is Linda. I have just come in. Welcome to our company, Linda, your company. You are part of our family now. Thanks a lot, Miss. You're welcome. Did you know the procedures to request training? I'm afraid I don't miss. Okay, let me explain this to you first. Thank okay. you. Thank you. You're very welcome. Somebody else, please.
Herzog. Herzog. Hello. Hello. Okay. Good morning. This is Mr. Hernandez. Hello, Mr. Hernandez. This is Marlene. I have just come in. Welcome to our company, Marlene. Your company. You are part of our family now. Thanks a lot, sir. You're welcome. Do you know the procedures to request training? I am a friend. I don't, sir. Okay, let me play this to you first. Okay, excellent. Let us continue with somebody else. Rafael, okay. okay. Good morning. Hello. Yeah, continue. Yeah, sorry. Good morning. This is Mr. Perez. Hello, Mr. Perez. This is Jackie. I have just come in. Welcome to our company, Jackie. Your company. You are a part of our family now. Thanks a lot, sir. You're welcome. Do you know the procedure to request training? I'm afraid I don't, sir. Okay. Let me explain this to you first. Thank you. Next. Ana Cristina Rey. Juan Carlos. Hello. Okay. Good morning. This is is Mr. Palacios. Hello, Mr. Palacios. This is Cristina. I have just come in. Welcome to our company, Ana Cristina. Your company, you are part of our family now. Thank you, I love you. You're welcome. Do you know the procedures to request training? I am a fry, I don't serious. Okay, let me explain this to you, Pierce. Thank you. Okay. Who wants to continue? Don Narciso. Let's go, Norma. Okay. Good morning. This is Mr. Perez. Hello, Mr. Perez. This is Jackie. I have just come in. Welcome to our company, Jackie. Your company, you are part of our family now. Thanks a lot, sir. You're welcome. Do you know the procedure to request training? I am afraid I don't steer. Okay, let me explain this to you first. Thank you, Norma. Thank you. Okay.
Let us continue then if you, if the rest want to participate, okay. And right here, Mr. Perez start telling, explaining the, the procedure to follow, you know? Okay, we had two questions. Getting pairs and discuss the following one question. I'm going to read it and then you are going to be in a breakout room and there you are going to discuss it, okay? Number one, what is Mr. Perez's role in the company? Don't tell me now. And the second one, what do you think is going to happen next? Two questions. Let us do it now, please. Volunteers who want to answer. Or one can ask the question and somebody else can answer it. That's the way you did in the breakout room. Number one, 
What is Mr. Perez from company? Um, I think he's a uh, human resource assistant, could be. Okay. Let us see what the rest of the students said about it. Next. Next. Hello. Second question, please. Me to check. Oh, okay. what, what do you think is going to happen next? Yes. Uh, she will be receiving a training. Oh, okay. She will receive a training. Okay. Are you agree or no? Agree or disagree with the answers? Hola, hola. Agree. Teacher. I think that Miss 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 Perez is going to explain to Jackie the steps to request a training. So Jackie will will be will be received a train a training. Mm -hmm. Okay, the training, the training. We are talking about the training, okay. That could happen. Somebody else have a different answer. No. Okay. Well, uh, talking about Mr. Perez, the role in the company, 
is welcoming new employees and he may work uh, at the HR department, right? And the second one? In the second one, um, you can infer different answers, different situations that can happen, like the one that you already mentioned, okay? Okay, I remember that I sent you a link for a video. And I would like to know if you watch it. But be honest and tell me, yes, I did or no, I didn't. Because based on that, we are going to continue talking about. Just I talk. didn't. You did it, okay. Who else? Who else? Jane Mas. If not, you can do it now. I'm going to give you some time in order that you can do it and we are going to discuss later on. Go ahead and do it now, please. I need that you pay attention to all the detail because later on we are going to discuss about it. As soon as you finish, just let me know, please.
Okay. Who wants to start? Just tell me. What did you understand about it? Your own word, you can talk, please. She talks about that human resource have five functions uh -huh. to management. Excellent. Good point, good point. Okay, somebody else. You can add more information for what Linda said for the video. Just give me your ideas. Hello, I'm here waiting. Come on, you can do it. You have some ideas, I know. Just share it with the class. Time is running, time is running. Somebody else, somebody else, tell me. Okay, Lyndon said that there are five function areas associated with effective human resource management. That is the key idea of this video. What else can you tell me about it? Hello.
Do you feel difficult to understand it? Well, I'm going to check up the attendance and, and as, as soon as I finish, you can start explaining me your ideas, but I need to see you participate in the class, please. I know that you can do it. For that reason is why I'm inviting you to do it, because I know that you are able to do it. Ana Cristina. Ana del Carmen. Present teacher. Ángel. Present. Cristina Stephanie. Present teacher. Fátima. Giovanni. Present teacher. Herson Manuel. Present. Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Karen Yesenia. Present. Karina. Present. Linda. Present teacher. Maria Julia. Marlene Nicole. Present. Nancy Yvette. Present teacher. Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Raquel Judith. Raquel Judith. Suleima Verónica. Okay, now tell me, what do you think about the video? I'm going to help you. I'm going to show you something that is going to refresh your memory. That is going to refresh your memory and you are going to say, ah, oh, yeah. That is the key word that I don't remember you are going to say. Okay, the video talk about five function areas associated with effective human resource management. Based on that, what, what else can you tell me about it? Because remember that this is a, an activity in order to see your comprehension about the video.
the first was hiring area area hiring okay uh, you, you are talking about uh or not the, the not the video yeah yeah yes, the, the first, first yeah the fair function yes yes okay 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 the dog is barking Okay, I'm going to help you with this. Five function of human resources management. As Linda said, the first one in hiding. What can you tell me about this? What is that? Give me an explanation in your words. I need that you produce sentences, paragraph. We are talking about five functions as human resources, right? Hiding, talent, development, compensation, safety, labor relations. What can you tell me about each one? What is hiding? What do you remember about it? It is part of human resource management. Hello. Hello. Fatima, can you hear me, Fatima? Excuse me, I'm going to stop chatting. But I guess the Farima is having problem with her connection. Where are you, Fatima? I don't see you. Ah, he's there, he's coming again. Lost the connection, Farima? Yes, teacher. Oh, okay. For that reason, I was looking for you because I, I saw your message. I can hear you. I can in, hear in, you. in the chat. That's why I finished the connection and I start again. Restart again, okay. Yeah. Okay. Let us continue with this we are talking about the five functions of human resources management the first one is hiding uh, but i need i need to hear from you a concept of what is that what is hiding i need that you understand that term mm -hmm. If you want, you can make a screenshot and we can talk about it. I remember the first time that I saw the word in the United States. I saw uh, something that said, now we are hiding. <laughs> and I went and asked. And I, I got the information. And the manager told me, do you want to apply for a position? <laughs> And sometimes they have uh, something that is called hell of one inside. Okay, let us talk about the first one, please. Give me a brief explanation about what you 
cut about the video. Of course, that we already talked about is talking about high function areas associated with effective human resource management, right? And we need to have clear that uh, the human resource management is the process of hiding and developing employees so that they become more valuable to the organization, human resource department face different challenges ranging from a constantly changing workforce to an ever-present government regulation, technology changes, and economic condition. But let us talk about the first one. I've been inviting you to tell me something about the first one, hiding. When a company is hiding, teacher, is the process of selection of new employees or new staff. Okay, thank you. Excellent. With this process, uh, the companies they ensure that the organization has the the right number of employees with the right number of skill in the right job at the right time to achieve organizational objectives, the uh, staffing process, and sometimes involve job analysis. And this has to be with human resources, planning, recruitment, and selection. That is the first step. What about the second one? What can you tell me about the second one? Talent development. <clears throat> what can you tell me about it? What is that? Based on the video, what is that? No idea. Talent development. Consists of training and development career planning organization. Develop performance management and a brain flow. That means that if you want to have uh, employees with good qualification, you are going to give them as many trainees that they For that reason, the, the first question that I ask you at the beginning of the class was that. And I remember the Harrison told me every month. Why? Because he and his company need to have the right person with the right skills. If they see that these people, they don't have it, what they do is just to plan a, a training in order to develop those skills that they are looking for in an empty. What about the next one? What is compensation for you? What do you understand about it? Tell me, compensation, what is that? What do you remember? about the video. When we talk about compensation, we talk about rewards. That the employees receive are, as a result of their employment. And sometimes uh, is a direct or indirect 
financial compensation as well as non-financial compensation sometimes. That is what we call compensation, rewards. What about the full one? Teacher, the oh, two, sir. Tell me. two are the, are the salaries, bonus, benefits, and the other benefits employees receive. That is called compensation. Yes. Yes, of course. If you, as a teen in your company, reach your goals, that means that you are going to give something to your employees to motivate them to continue doing it that way. And everybody is going to be happy. Your company, your manager, and everybody, you know? But sometimes it's really difficult because uh, we reach the goals, but sometimes companies, they don't want to give you not even a bag of water, you know, sometimes. Okay, let us continue with the next one, please. What about number four? What can you tell me about number four, safety? What is that for you? Do you remember something about it? Talk about protecting employees from injuries caused by work-related accident. I remember that when we work in a safe environment, we enjoy good health. And we are more likely to be productive. Protecting employees. That is really, really important. Yes, Fatima. Tell me. Yes, they 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 work for protecting employees and at work, both physically and, and emotional. And emotional too. Excellent. That is the purpose. Do teacher also ensure that they use the personal protective equipment because sometimes it is given to them and they don't do not use it. They don't use it in the right way. Yes. I'm agree with you, sir. For that reason, sometimes <laughs> supervising is really important. <clears throat> Okay, what else do we have? And the last one, number five. Do you remember? Do you, do you remember the number five? Labor relations. Ah, what is that? What is that? Tell me. What is that for you? What is that? Labor relation. Remember that we are talking about human resources. Mm 
the, in the video, they talk about labor relation in countries. They, they say that in countries where businesses are required by law to recognize a labor union and bargain with it in good faith, if the if the firm employees want the union to represent them, the role of the human resource manager had involved over the years into a very restricted one since talent is the most important asset of any business. And good human resources practice need to be continually reviewed and adjust to the meet of the change in demand of today fast paced business environment. That is the main purpose of this last point. I invite you to watch the video as many times that you consider in order that you can have a clear idea and understand exactly what uh, the person in charge is trying to explain us. And we need to keep in mind all these five steps, hiring, talent development, compensation, safety and labor relation. Try to keep it in mind. And now we are going to read the pressure to request training. I'm going to read it in a slowly way, but you can do it later on. First, do you remember that uh, Mr. Ferrer was trying to explain this pressure, you know? First, choose the training you are interested on. That means that you have a list listed on the bulletin board. Somebody wants to tell me what is a bulletin board? Hello. Choose a training you are interested on. That means that you are going to see the list on the bulletin board. Second, check with the talent management consultant if you can take the training. Ah, okay. That means that you are going to visit the office of the talent management consultant. Why? Because you are going to ask him or her if you can take the training. And the third step, we find that you need to send a note requesting your participation. Number four, write the name of the training you need. Number five, specify the day and hours of interactions. Number six, mention the play where the event will take place. Number seven, specify the price of the training. Number eight, send it to the human resources department. And number nine, make sure to include all the information requested. No empty spaces, no empty boxes. You need to fill, fill now all the application part. And that number 10, if information is missing in the note, we will not authorize any training. You need to be careful about that because number 10 is telling you if you miss uh, some information, they are not giving, they are not going to give you the authorization to get the training. Okay, I invite you to read it because we are going to practice. But the most important thing that you need to do first is to understand 
every item from one to 10. I'm going to give you two minutes in order that you can read it by yourself and then we are going to start reading in front of the class. All the aspects are really, really important. The reason if, when we are feeling affirmed for a, tra a training, uh, we need to be careful. If you don't put all the information that they are requesting, they will not authorize any training. Okay, who wants to read it? I guess that you have it there. I need to see your face. I'm going to stop chatting. Just let me know who wants to read it and go and do it now. Who say me? I try, teacher. Okay, do it. Uh, the 10 sentence. Oh, okay. Let, 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 let us um, do it. Only one and then somebody else. At the okay. end, uh, 10 of you are going to have the opportunity to, to read. And then we can and start. We can start okay. again. Then. 10 in order to give you the chance to all of you to do it. Okay, number one. Okay, first choose the training you are interested on. List, listen on the volunteer board. Okay, that means that you are going to get close to the bulletin board and you are going to see the one in which you are interested on. Okay, next. Check with the talent management console if you can take, take the training. Ah, okay. Check with the talent management consultant if you can take the training. Interesting. Okay. Next. Then Three. I'm not requesting your participation. Okay. That means that you need to write down and not requesting your participation. Number four. Write, write the name. name. <laughs> First, Nancy. <laughs> Write the name of the training you need. Uh-huh, okay. Write the name of the training you need. Number five. The specific the day and hour of instruction. Ah. What is that? Explain. In another words, tell me, what is the meaning of that? Thank you. 
we are uh, talking about number four, specify the day and hour of interactions. When is going to start? When it is going to finish? How many hours do you need to be there attending the training? Is going to be online or you need to be in a special play? All those aspects you need to take into account. Okay, let's uh, continue with number six, please. Para que no se equivoquen, eh, pueden levantar su manita. Y así, si hay tres seguidos, no haya problema. Number six, mention the place where the events will take place. Ah, okay. Yes, because sometimes maybe it's not going to be in the same place where you are, you need to go to a different branch in order to take it. You need to be sure about that. Hay que asegurarse exactamente dónde va a ser. Porque si su empresa tiene eh, varias sucursales, es posible que el training lo den en la sucursal que está más lejos. Y usted no preguntó y usted dijo en este quiero, tendrá que moverse hasta donde ha elegido. Next. No, no. Number two. Uh, Sorry, okay. the hand is up. Norma. Okay. 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 Don't, don't forget to raise your hand, please. Norma. Yes. Okay. Seven. Specify the price of the training. Okay, you need to know if you need to pay something or your company is going to pay for you. And also maybe if they are going to give you a snack or something like that, or the lunch, if you are going to pay it and everything. Next. De ustedes depende que no nos durmamos. Participación Centro. activa. Ok, hold on, hold on, hold on. Eh, let me see. Ana Cristina tiene la mano arriba. Ok. I Sorry. told you to raise your hand. <ríe> Acostúmense, por favor. <ríe> okay. eh. Ana Cristina. Send it to the... Human resource, resource department. Okay, send it to the human resources department. Human resources department. Excellent. Okay, number nine. Quien ya participó, baja la mano para darle oportunidad a alguien más. Next, please. No. Ah, Fátima. Fátima Portillo. Good. Make sure to include all the information requests. How do you say the last word? Requested. Ah, yes. Requested. Requested. Make sure to include all the information requested. And the last one, number 10. Number 10, please. Uh, 
I don't see any hand up. No veo ninguna mano arriba. Raise your hand if you want to read it. If you don't know how to do it, go to the bottom that says reaction, and there you can find different emojis. Could be. Aha, uh -huh, Harrison. Do it, Harrison. This information is missing in the note. Would it be not authorized any training? Okay. Authorize. Okay. Uh, ya participaron 10. De los que no han participado, we can start reading from 1 to 10 again. Of course, if you want to do it. If not, we are going to continue with the next activity. And also, uh, this is part of the, the same uh, information. We have a type of training. One is excellent customer service, improving computer skills, effective communication, learning about writing skills, organizing time, creating website and other. Okay. What can you tell me about this? Any idea? Excellent customer service, improving computer skills, effective communication, learning about writing skills, organizing time, creating websites, and others. Okay, let us continue then if you don't want to talk about. And the number five, you are going to use the information below to help a colleague to fill out the training not firm. You got the info here. We have the event date, hour of interactions, the place and the price. And you are going to create the knot right here. You are going to write down your training knots. And at this time, you are going to put the employee's name. We have different, and we have different dates too. We are going to read it first, and then you are going to do it. And in events, we have excellent customer service, improving computer skill, organizing time, effective communication, creating website, learning about writing skill. The third one need is, is going to be in July 7. The second one is going to be in July 10 and 12 and 11, sorry. Organizing time is going to be in July 15. And the effective communication is going to be in 17 July and 19. 
creating website is going to be in July 28th. Learning about writing the skill, we don't have any day. And the hour of interaction, 4, 10, 2, 10, 4, and 5. And the places, hotel center, our facilities, hotel center, hotel center, our facilities, hotel center, and the prices, $40, free, free, $120, free, and free. And based on, uh, on those information, you are going to fill out the training, not for. I don't know if you have any questions or problem here. ¿Alguna pregunta hasta acá? No, teacher. No preguntas. No question. No question. Okay, let us do it now, please. Based on the old information that I have shared here. Remember the interaction that we have here. That you are going to use the information to help a colleague to fill out the training of firm.
you need to read all the information in order to be sure what you are going to write down. Don't forget the seventh step that we already started, okay? Any question? Everything is clear.
Okay, we are close to finish. Just let me know if you already finished, please. And we can start sharing the information. Are you ready? Well, uh, by the way, as I told you at the beginning of the class, today is the opportunity to select my Veronica Melgar, but she's not here. I don't know if somebody else wants to stay at the end of the class to clarify a topic or something. Just let me know. Okay, uh, I would like to hear some of you sharing the information. Just let me know if you want to do it. Raise your hand if you want to do it now, please. What you are going to do is just to read the information. That you wrote the notes. Hello, we are close to finish. And I need that you read the information. Tell me. Remember that you need to write the name of the training you need. You are going to specify the day and hour of interruptions. Mention the play where the event will take place. I specify the, the price of the training. That means that you are going to take into consideration from number four to number seven right now. Who wants to do it? Before we go, who wants to do it? Fatima Portillo, do it, please. And thank you for your okay, participation. I, okay, I choose um, improving computer skills, the name of the training. Okay. And the day that I choose is uh, on July 10th. Um, the, the hours of extra of instructions that I use was five hours. 
Okay. Um, hotel center. And the cost of the training, free. It's gonna be free. Free of charge. Okay, excellent. That is Juan Carlos Palacios. Thank you, Fatima. You, Mr. In Chair of Human Resource, I need to participate in the training, excellent customer service, which will take place on July 7. We last four hours and will be at hotel centers post and has a price of $40. Okay, the price is $40. Thank you, Juan Carlos. And the last one, one more please, in order to finish this class. Only one, only one, because of the time. ¿Quién se atreve? ¿Quién se atreve? Cristina? Um, use the B MP in food day July 1st and four hours in hotel center is free the price. And the event? The event is you be um, PM um, se, uh, in food, um, buenas prácticas de manufactura ah, in alimentos. Okay, okay. Only that. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you very much to all of you that participate today. And I continue inviting, inviting you to all of you in order that you can do it. Let me check out the assistant again. Ana Cristina. Ana del Carmen. Hello, teacher. Angel. Present, sure. Cristina. Cristina Stefani. Present. Present. Fatima del Carmen. Present. Giovanni Alexander. Erson Manuel. Present. Juan Carlos. Present, teacher. Karen Yesenia. Present. Karina. Linda Iber. Present, teacher. Maria Julia. Present. Marlene. Ir haciendo como esa gran, esa Present. Nancy. Present. Norma. Present, teacher. Rafael. Raquel Judith. Raquel Judith. Suleima Verónica Melgar. Well, thank you very much. El día de hoy le correspondía a Suleima, pero no está. Entonces. Pues daremos algún refuerzo del tema at the end. Thank you very much. I hope to see you tomorrow. I don't know if you have any question before we leave.
Agradezco sus participaciones, como les dije al inicio, eh, de ustedes depende que, que no, nos, no, 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 no estemos durmiendo ahí. Sí, hay que motivarse a participar, a compartir nuestras ideas. Eso es muy importante. Y a quienes siempre lo hacen, eh, felicitarles porque están en el camino correcto, ¿no? Y a quienes no lo han hecho, pues invitarles a que se unan. Ese es el objetivo. Vamos para un nivel diferente donde vamos a necesitar tener un poco más de soltura y de conocimiento del idioma. Así es que, good night. I hope to see you tomorrow. Good night. 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 So I already told you, um, today was the opportunity to, to talk 10 minutes at the end of the class to Selene, but she's not here. She sent me a message telling me that she having a personal problem for that reason. She couldn't be here. Today we, we talk about how to to follow a procedure to request training, you know. And we read some uh, a specific step that we need to follow in order to, to get a training. And the first one was uh, to choose a training in the one uh, we are interested on. The next step is that we need to talk with the, with the person in charge that could be the talent management consultant. If we can take the training, Remember, uh, first of all, we need to talk with uh, with that kind of person in order to be sure if we can take it or not. And then we can send a note requesting your participation. And we, uh, we need to be careful and to write down the name of the training that we need, and specify the date and hours of interruption and mention the play where the event will take place. And something important too is that we are going to specify the price of the train and send it to the human resources department. There they are going to study the case and they are going to say yes or no, all depend on them in the moment that you are requesting. And uh, something really important is that you don't have to miss uh, information in the note that you are going to send. Okay. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure to be here with all of you. I hope to see you in the next class. Bye-bye.